So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week four. If you guys don't know, I usually do these weekly so you guys can know what uh, is up for the week. And we also look at Eververse so you guys can see what's up as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. These videos are more um, catered towards people who are like not in front of their PC or their TV. So that way they can see what's up and like plan according. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really would appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So the first one's gonna be more than a weapon, more than a weapon four. Complete the week four of more than a weapon. Defeat hive and scoring combatants anywhere in the system. Not too hard. Uh, I've already got some of it because I was doing a nightfall before weekly reset happened. So I did this in in a nightfall last week's nightfall technically. So you can do it literally anywhere. For the highest battlegrounds three in the highest battleground playlist without complete heist and breach submine vaults without alerting wrath or reinforcements. This one I actually don't know. Uh, I'll I'll see. I I honestly don't know how you do how you would complete this because I've never really alerted Wrathborn reinforcement. At least I don't think I have. But I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I honestly don't know about this one. Seasonal shaping one. Unlock the pattern for any seasonal or Icolos, uh weapon. Not hard. Well, kind of depending on how your RNG is, but. You should be working towards either the Icolo stuff or the seasonal stuff. Either way, you should be either really close or nowhere near. Don't be don't be worried though. We do have upgrades in the in the seasonal like thing where you can uh, get a red bar each week. You can actually focus one, so that is pretty cool. In Tropic Shock, defeat uh, combatants with arc or void damage in the highest battlegrounds. You can complete these two easily uh, in Tropic Shock and highest battlegrounds three. You'll most likely complete this one before this one, especially if uh, not alerting Wrathborn reinforcements is really hard. So hopefully this, this, these two are going to be super old. Well, th hopefully this one's not going to be super hard. Mod collector unlock artifact mods. Uh, not hard at all. Uh, I've just been playing the game. As you guys can see, I'm level 77, which is pretty tame considering I probably would have been 100 by now if I was really actually pushing myself. But I've been taking it kind of slow and I also have a job now, so I don't really want to go grind stuff. I'm using my time a little bit more wisely now. Precision calibration, calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles, sniper rifles, and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows. Bonus progress against guardians. Uh, this one you could actually do in combination with the Tropic Shock and Heist Battlegrounds. So that way you can try to complete these two, these three at the same time. It'll be a little annoying, but I mean, at the same time, it won't be super duper hard. Uh, momentum crash. Oh shit, momentum controls up. I might start playing that right now. Uh, momentum control. It's honestly super, super simple. Momentum control. If you guys don't know, momentum control is like a game mode where the health is like super low. So pretty much anything can kill you. So you could probably do precision calibration, although it does say on precision final blows i don't know if it'll just count towards anything i don't know if like the bonus progress against guardians will just count toward it doesn't matter if it's final blows or not but super cool um i'm definitely gonna play this a lot high value hunter defeat powerful combatants in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets not hard at all there's a lot, there is usually high value targets and if not you, there's always like really high-end enemies at the late game so it, this just means you just have to play Gambit, which I know people are like, but I have to play Gambit. Uh, Darkest Nightfall, complete any Nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. Not hard at all. I literally just completed one as the as the reset happened. So this one's not too hard, just more uh, annoying, I guess, because Nightfalls are kind of just annoying and usually not worth it, especially on hero difficulty. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which one. Are you guys going to complete first? Uh, my, a lot of people might complete mod collector first just because getting 12 is not really that hard. But yeah, let's actually go look at Eververse real quick. So for Eververse, if you, if you guys don't know, Donning is still happening. This is the last week, though. So if you guys are interested in picking some stuff up, then I would suggest this week. Uh, Donning Tranquility. Let's actually see. This is actually a pretty cool shader. Like, I'm, like actually, though. So I would say I would, I'm going to pick it up, but I already have it. Uh, this is actually a decent shader. I like the blue. I like the silver. I like the uh, not khaki, but like this color here. I don't know what that color is. Pretty cool. Like cream almost. 
Uh, Bacon Projection, Glee, Barrage. I know, I think Astrocross bought this on stream the other day, which is funny, considering I was like, they're selling it for right this, bro. Uh, ice, ice Carving, which, cool, I guess. I'm not gonna look through the whole thing, come on, dog. And for the, but, oof, okay. So Shower of Gifts on both, that's cool. Uh, Infinite Gift, which is literally just a shader, like actually just a shader. Uh, artificial cooler or arc, 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 this is a stupid name. Um, okay. Polar vortex, man, dude, they were selling this like last year, maybe, or two years ago. I don't remember. I was thinking about picking it up, but at the same time, like I never really buy the gimmicky, uh, ships and sparrows and ghost stuff. Cause I never use them, especially sparrows. Uh, Sparrows is like, I never really pick up sparrows just because, uh, there's only one really good one and everyone uses that one, even though I'm not using it on my hunter right now. Shaky skating. That's fun. I guess for the shaders, we have justified cobalt, which is, that's a really good blue and silver and with a hint of gold in the red as well. This is pretty good. I would recommend this one for sure. Just because it is, just, it is a really cool color. Uh, Donning Celebration. I think I like this one. Yeah, I like the, I like the purple. The purple's really, really cool. And it also does give you some, some designs, which is pretty cool as well. Yeah, I definitely like this one a lot. We have Donning Tranquility, which almost looks like the one from up there. What is it? The one from up there? Hold on. Let me see. Tra Tranquility. Cool. Cool. Selling two things in the same spots. Dope. I love that. Uh, Donning Brilliance. Yeah, this is a good shader too. This is pretty cool. Uh, I just wish that this right here was actually blue. That's unfortunate, but this is also a good shader. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will, like I said, I will not be making a video for these armor sets just because look at all the armor that I don't have. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really salty because I would, I would look. <sighs> I did say I was going to get these. They're the dendrite stuff because the dendrite stuff is actually really fucking cool. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, kind of because like I really wish Bungie gave us the option to buy pieces because I would I would definitely go on a, like a shopping spree if that were if that were the case, because like the dendrite stuff, I would probably get all of it. But like for this. Uh, I would probably not get anything. I've, I've never really liked this one. Uh, for for the Lucent Knight, I definitely would get the helmet. The helmet is super dope. I think the cloak is super dope. And I I want to say the boots too, but the un unfortunate thing is they're asymmetrical. Same thing with the arms. And I really don't like the design of this right here. Uh, so yeah, that would be the only pieces I would pick up from that. And this one, I would probably pick up the whole thing just because I think this set looks super dope as well. But if I had to choose, I'd probably pick the cloak first, even though I'm pretty sure the cloak is connected. Yeah, that's that's part of the cloak too. No, it's not. That's the chess piece. What the fuck? That is weird. Mm, that is super weird. Okay. Well, yeah, I would probably pick up the cloak just because the cloak is super dope. Um. One, I think one day, if if this channel starts to pick up to the point where like I can afford buying all of this and not feel like I'm wasting money, then I would probably do like a whole review of all of these armor sets, like a Christmas special type shit. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, again, I will I have some content for you guys. I am working on some exotic videos that people have been wanting. Uh, again, don't worry. I have not forgotten. I'm actually working on them right now. I'm also working on, oh, might as well show you guys. I'm also working on the hardened basilisk stuff. I have boots done and I have the arms done, uh, armor sets. So we will be doing the same thing we did with the cowboy armor from the spire of the watcher dungeon. If you guys don't know, I have these videos right here where we essentially go through each of the armor sets for each of the classes and we choose out like specific armor pieces that we can make armor sets with, at least for me. Uh, so we ended up using the helmet for the Titan and Warlock, the chest piece, 
and the boot no boots no arms arms that's what we used and then for the hunter we used the cloak because that's the hat and the chest piece and the arms as well so we will be doing the same thing for pretty much going forward we're gonna be doing that for pretty much everything i will see about the the seasonal armor stuff we'll see about that because i think depending how long it takes i might cut it in multiple pieces or just do them individually because i got this one and immediately made armor sets for him and then i made got the boots like almost right after because i was doing bounties and immediately made armor sets for them i just need the cloak and then yeah so 97 so 20 more levels and i'm good to go and 20 mil 20 more levels i might do it by the end of this week just because i got to do some bounties at least i want to do the bounties for this season or for the uh christmas stuff but we will most likely be doing a few more things because i do like the cloak i think the cloak is super dope uh I, if i remember correctly i did like the the mark for the titans and the bond we're not we're definitely not going to do chest piece i'm not a fan of it for the hunter but for the titan and warlock we'll definitely do one and then for the helmet i think we'll do it for everyone because i think everyone has a really cool helmet but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh thank you guys for coming up to this point i really do appreciate y'all be safe and i'll see you guys later